Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the new Roblox in-game menu. So right now, we all have the default menu. Yeah, it's very boring, boring, the default menu. But today, I'm going to be showing you how to get the new menu for Roblox. So if I just go ahead and join in the game, this is what the default menu looks like. As you can see, it is very boring and stuff. Um, yeah, the Roblox has been using this for like like i don't know like eight years how long nine years nine years Roblox, i think has been using this menu for nine years which is actually kind of crazy obviously mine probably will look different your one probably will be like in full screen but all mine does is it just puts it in a small one though so yeah yeah Roblox has been using this for so long and yeah people are starting to get bored of it so i'm going to show you how to get the new menu for Roblox. so the first thing you want to do you want to go over to the link in the description this is block strap it will help us get the new menu also this also helps with performance so you can get more fps so what you want to do is you click on block strap next see yeah open that and yeah it will start download and you then you will go and open yeah open it and then it will start to open and then you'll see this if you get an error saying that something's not installed click yes and then it should bring you to like a page where you install something and then the download should start automatically open that and then install that and then you should be able to open this app again okay so here we go if i'll show you a bit on how to get the best performance so you can you can allow activity joining, which I like to, to, to turn that on. You have mods, which, um, yeah, you can turn, you can use the old death sound if you want. I'm not going to do that since I'm not, since that's going to be, that's going to be very weird. Yeah, you can use the old mouse cursor if you want. I'll, I'll, I'll use it, why not? You can disable the desktop app. Uh, I'll keep it on for right now yeah and then you can then, then you can go fast then you can go into fast flags which is the one we need so in fast flags you can set the frame limit as you can see this is the default because yeah we like to do that i also turn on this option which makes which if you press alt enter when in roblox it will make your game smoother and i also turn on this which gives you more graphics and render distance if you want and here we go in game menu choose which version of the in-game menu to use current is current default is version one as you can see we have version 1 2015 version 2 2020 and version 2 2021 so so first i'm gonna do 2021 first and then show you 2020 since 2021 is the latest version and then you have lights i just use this one since it's the best and you can use the mobile interface for the desktop if you want i'll turn it on to show you what it looks like and then you can choose how block strap will start up so you can choose dark mode if you want which looks way better for you guys also do this so that uh, it's dark mode you can choose what style you want you can have a progress you can have a legacy you can also change the logo for the startup screen so yeah if you want to like to go all the way back and yeah you can do it here i'm gonna use 2017 and here's the behavior you can turn on this if you want and yeah you can choose what roblox you want to be and i'll just choose canary so why not and then once you have to you finish all your things you just click on install it will tell you that it will reinstall roblox for it to work and here you go it will say installing roblox this screen may look different to you but don't worry that's perfectly fine as you can see this may take a while since i chose canary so yeah also it has the old the old uh, roblox logo the 2017 logo which is cool or 2018 logo whatever you want to call it okay as you can see you just finished downloading and this is not supposed to happen i don't know why that happened maybe if i rejoin it will work maybe if i rejoin it will work maybe it was just a weird glitch i'm gonna rejoin and see if that works Okay, yeah, okay, that was just some weird glitch that happened, oh. Oh wow, the creator is here. Okay, I just talked to the creator for a bit. As you can see, we have the old mouse. Yeah, that looks cool, we have the old mouse. And if we press... 
Okay, I think I accidentally selected version 2, but this is what the version 2 looks like, if I can open it. Yeah, this is what version 2 looks like. You have your players, you can invite your friends, you can click on your settings, shows all your settings, yes. You can report people, as you can see, you can report people, I'm not going to report him. And you have your controls, yeah, and yeah, that's basically what you can do is just yeah and you also have your record video thing you can respawn your character if you want you can also leave the game yeah it looks very nice you can also do that for some reason don't know why that exists but yeah and that's kind of mostly it yeah and if you leave you will just be taken to the app. With this is on um, whenever you select select the mobile app, it will just move the icons down here. That's the only thing I noticed when I use the mobile app when I set the mobile app thing. But yeah, now let's check out the uh, the other version, which is um which you should be able to find if you type lock strap in your search. Okay, here's something, here's a glitch. So here's like a small glitch that happens. So, so whenever you install the app, sometimes it doesn't, um, you know, uh, sometimes when you install this app, it doesn't like add it to your start menu. So I, so what you want to do is you want to go over here, go here, um, close all this. And you, sh you should see this file called Play Roblox. You want to click, you want to click and click on Open File Location. And then it should take you to here. And what you want to do is you just want to create, set, you want to send to desktop, which will create a shortcut. And just name this to menu, uh, menu. And what you want to do is you want to go properties. And then you want to do, and then you, what you want to do is press space. And do this line right here, and then type menu, yeah, and then click apply, okay. And when you open up, it should take you back to the menu right here. Okay, now let's try out version 3. Well, that was version 3, for some reason it didn't do version 3, that was weird. Uh, hold on, let me rejoin the game and see why it didn't do that. For some reason, that was weird. Hold on, let me do version 2 again. Okay, that's version two. Okay, that's version two. Yes, that is version two. Now let's do version three, which should work this time. Okay, and it's version three. Save. Loading. It's gonna load. Right, block strap loading. And it should appear as version 3, which it doesn't. Hold on, I think it's because I did this. Hold on, I think I know how to fix this. I think if we go over here, over here. Yeah, hold on, hold on, wait till it ends, okay. And then go over. I think it's because I set it to Canary. Do live. And do fast. And then do, yeah, version 3. Let's try this again. It should work this time. Oh, well, it's upgrading. It should start and it'll give us the, the, this menu. As you can see, here we go, here's the menu. As you can see, new, new menu tab, you can find stuff there. And the actions got moved there. And yeah, this is what the version 3 menu looks like. Which it kind of looks like similar to version 2, but with extra stuff. Like, you can know the controls are there, experience language, you can use the experience language, you can report someone, you can follow it, your favorite, you can do all that, you can share it, it should give you the link if I, oh, and I'll, I'll test this out real quick, does it give me the link, oh uh, that's, it didn't give me the link, um, share, I don't know what that button does, and yeah, you can go to friends, you can return home, you can do all this stuff. You can report if you can report a specific thing. Yep, and you can take a picture, which has a very nice animation. You can also uh, record, which is the same. 
Yeah, as you can see, it's the same. And yeah, resend your characters does that thing. And yeah, you can also heart the game if you want to leave. And if you leave, it 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 leaves. As you can see, it goes into the app. Yeah, and yeah, that's basically the two things. Yeah, as you can see, it's basically the two things. As you can see. Oh yeah, this is new. I never noticed that. Roblox menu. Yeah, okay, that's new. Okay, well, that's the Roblox menu. I'm, I'll quickly show, if someone's wondering, I'll quickly show the, um, the, what is it called? The version 1. I'll quickly show version 1 if you guys were wondering. It's basically what we all have. Version 1 is basically what we all have. So I'll show you real quick what it looks like. And it looks like, hold on, let me load in. It's loading in. It's it's just this one. This is version one. It's just this one. Personally, my favorite is version two. My favorite version two. If I close, Let's see, my favorite is version two because I I just like it. The animation smooth, like it's easy to use. I just like version two. I'll 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 quickly show it again for you guys. As you can see, this is what version 2 looks like. It will load, load, yeah. You know, it's, it's just smooth. Version 2 is just smooth. As you can see, it has a smooth animation. A smooth animation. See, smooth animation. And yeah, it's just nice. You can turn your quality up easily. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have version 2. Like I'm just I just like this one and you have like this and this yeah and it's also like that yeah version two is my favorite but thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys next time bye.